Well, hello everyone. I'm Andre Grossberg and I'm part of the team Stereo Zombies. And we're gonna be talking about our storytelling with AI. And more specifically, our team decided to go for a project of creating a dungeon master from the game Dungeons and Dragons. And basically what that means is in the game Dungeons and Dragons, the dungeon master creates a story based off of what the characters would like to do and the different actions they would like to make. So we're creating an AI that will help uh, become the dungeon master and make those uh, stories. And our team consists of Chloe, Ryle, Fabian, me, Andre, Tariq, and Milani. Uh, data set collection. The idea of the project was derived uh, from the AI dungeon.io, uh, where, uh, where we submitted a prompt and the AI will generate a story for us. Uh, and he, uh, all of our members, uh, we all individually uh, look for references and just data sets, but we uh, finalized on a data set from Kaggle. Uh, yeah, that related to fictional stories. Yeah, so I'll just talk briefly about our model. Uh, so our goal was to create uh, of the NLP course was to create a website that hosts a GPT-2 text generation model. Specifically, we use the GPT GPT Neo 125 M variant. Um, we kind of use it because it provided good performance, so we stuck with it. Uh, we use things like the AI text gen library uh, in our code, and we used the Kaggle dataset Sci-Fi Stories Text Corpus to train our model. We use this dataset because it contained plenty of sci-fi and sci-fi fantasy-like stories while not being too large. This was good because we can ensure our model is trained enough while not taking too much time. Uh, when training, we did have a lot of, a ridiculously high amount of issues with our CUDA memory. So eventually we just got fed up and we switched to CoLab. And there it took about half an hour to train until we were satisfied with our model. We questioned if we could possibly make an AI that could assist people in creating and perhaps improve upon our experiences of human storytelling. Because unlike humans, a robot will not reboot the same franchises over and over and bring people dry using nostalgia. So not only could you use this AI to help guide you through a story of a D&D &D session, but you could also use it as inspiration when writing for books, video games, movies, television, or to help fix the plots and storylines of whatever corporate entity's production has been ruined or is disappointing you at the moment, i.e. 50% of what Netflix makes. Here are some examples of our output while testing the AI. And here is the heading to our website where we created using Python, HTML, and CSS. Uh, we can mimic uh, AI dungeon.io with asking the user which character they're interested in and asking how they want to generate the next part of story each time in gaming. But this would take more time and resources. Uh, given the time to complete the task, we included some part of it. Uh, we wish to see if we could expand this in the future as we're currently aware of AI, NLP, and tech generation. All right, so I'm now gonna go over to the website. And also adding on to a little bit of, of what we are talking about for like expanding it. We were kind of excited about uh, trying different options, such as incorporating like a 20 sided die, which is what like is mostly used in the Dungeons and Dragons game and have that relate to the different outputs that you can get, whether it's like more positive or negative. However, that would get more into text classification, which we're not, we did not include in this specific uh, project. However, we would consider moving forward with uh, in the future. All right, so I'm just gonna start with the website. And we're going to be talking, I'm going to talk about the user interface. So here we can see we have our title and we also have our navigation bar here with the different parts of our thing. So you can like click it and go to the different. Are we, are we sharing the right screen here? Just want to double check. Um, can you see it now? I can could not. See the yeah, we might need someone to stop sharing real quick. Here, I'll reshare. Then, yep. How about now? 
Yeah, there we go. Awesome. So uh, like I was saying, up on top here is our user interface, and we can look at the navigation bar and go to the different parts of our website, as well as here we have our title and a little try here button to go directly to our model. And now I'll hand it off to Chloe, who's going to talk about our glossary. Uh, thank you, Andre. So I'm here to just explain these three key terms for people who might not know them. We have NLP, which is natural language processing. So it's the computer's ability to understand the human language, such as a Siri or an Alexa. Um, NLP is a huge component of AI, uh, which is really complex, but with the process of how NLP takes da data, data collection becomes really simple. Um, the next term that we have is AI text gen, which is AI text generation is a Python package that uses many different things such as PyTorch, Hugging Face Transformers, and PyTorch Lighting, um, which helps with just overall text generation and also includes GPT-2, which is the next term. Uh, GPT-2 is a transformer model that can make accurate predictions for the data sets that's been given. Uh, we trained the GPT-2 model on a custom data set and it was able to generate its own stories for this model. Uh, other than that, GPT-2 is a self-supervised um, model that has been able to help many cases such as ours. All right, and uh, here we can uh, test out our model, the Dungeon Master, and I'll write a example text. Right, we're just going to let these things to load. So um, it does have a lot of uh, examples of kind of related words to the word arrested. So we see danger, um, suffering, a little bit scary, but uh, that's how we get our text generation for uh, the story. And I'll hand it back to Chloe now for uh, the team. All right, thank you, Andre, and this is our amazing team. I'm Chloe, obviously this is Bear. Um, we also have our peers, Andre, Tariq, Ryle, Milani, and Fabian, as well as our amazing instructor, um, Sherith. Um, the, this whole section includes just amazing, interesting facts about us, our experiences, and yeah, fun things such as how Tariq knows the top 10 numbers from one to 10. Okay, this experience has been a short journey that while filled with technical issues we had outside of the code uh, that created difficulty for us to progress at times has been very rewarding, especially with the help of our mentor, Sheriff. After our first meeting, meeting on June 6, we were introduced into the camp and uh, what things would be like. We started out with little to no polish, knowledge of Python uh, at the beginning of the week. Um, it, and to then went to understanding the basics of the code and starting on uh, to go over transformers and what they were during week two. And then uh, to having solidified our topic by week three, during which we finished our project by including the AI inside the beautiful website we started building together. And now we have this project. 